Welcome to another enlightening journey on Stoic in your life, where ancient wisdom meets the modern hustle. In today's hyper-connected world, where every thought and moment seems to be on display, the art of preserving one's privacy has become a rare treasure. The Stoic sages of old masters of inner tranquility taught us the virtue of restraint and the power of thoughtful silence. They knew that not all thoughts or experiences are meant for public consumption. Reflecting on the teachings of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, who once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This profound insight guides us as we delve into the 14 things you should always keep private to embody the essence of a true Stoic. These timeless principles passed down from the Stoic philosophers resonate even more in our 21st century lives, where the sanctity of privacy is increasingly precious. Join me as we embark on this journey to embrace authentic Stoicism and safeguard our inner sanctuary. But before we dive in, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to Stoic in Your Life for more wisdom on integrating Stoicism into your daily life. Let's begin our exploration of these 10 pivotal principles. Number 1. Cherish and express gratitude. In the dance of life, how we communicate our feelings of gratitude or lack thereof plays a pivotal role. It's crucial to never project an aura of ingratitude, as life itself is an extraordinary gift, deserving of our deepest appreciation for every moment granted to us. Echoing the timeless wisdom of Epictetus, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. We are reminded to always acknowledge and cherish the blessings that life offers. Ingratitude, often subtle, can creep into our lives in various forms. From neglecting the kindness of those around us, to taking the simplest of life's comforts for granted. Embracing gratitude is not just a practice but a celebration of life and the efforts of those who contribute to our growth. When we fall into the trap of ingratitude, we inadvertently sever the bonds that connect us with others. This detachment can lead to misunderstandings, hurt feelings, and a strained social environment. In contrast, the act of expressing gratitude lays the foundation for positive, nurturing relationships, fostering an atmosphere where everyone feels acknowledged and important. Therefore, in our interactions, let's not forget the power of a thankful heart. Make it a habit to express gratitude for every act of kindness, every opportunity, and every blessing that crosses your path. By doing so, you're not just cultivating positive relationships, you're also enriching your own life. You begin to see the world through a lens of appreciation, recognizing the beauty and goodness that surrounds you. This practice of gratitude aligns beautifully with the Stoic philosophy, where the focus is on valuing what we have, rather than lamenting what we lack. Remember, in the words of another Stoic philosopher, Seneca, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Let this be a guiding principle in your journey of gratitude. Number two, don't reveal your goals and dreams. In the journey of life, especially for those embracing the Stoic path, it's crucial to navigate with discretion, particularly regarding your deepest aspirations and goals. Picture your dreams as a delicate flame that needs protection from the harsh winds of external judgment and misunderstanding. When you openly share your life's ambitions, you expose them to a world that may not see through your lens. People, often through no fault of their own, are quick to project their experiences and failures onto others. This can cast a shadow of doubt over your aspirations, potentially dimming the very spark that fuels them. Consider the wise words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca. Our plans miscarry because they have no aim. When a man does not know what harbor he is making for, no wind is the right wind. This highlights the importance of having a clear internal compass, guiding your dreams without the need for external validation or direction. Your goals, akin to a personal voyage from point X to point Y, should be guarded as a secret map only to be shared with those who genuinely support your journey. In modern life where oversharing has become the norm, the Stoic approach advises restraint. 
Your dreams are intimate conversations between your inner self and, if you believe, the spiritual realm. This discretion is not born out of fear, but out of a profound understanding that not all are equipped to handle or nurture the seeds of your aspirations. By selectively sharing your dreams, you maintain their purity and protect them from the corrosive effects of skepticism and unwarranted criticism. Remember your dreams are your sanctuary, a sacred space where your aspirations breathe and grow. They should be shared judiciously with those who not only understand your vision, but also encourage its fruition. In doing so, you keep the flame of your dreams alive, burning brightly, unscathed by the winds of external opinion. As a Stoic, you understand the power of silence and the strength that comes from nurturing your dreams in private, revealing them only when they are robust enough to withstand the storms of doubt and criticism. Number three, don't speak ill of yourself. Next, we delve into a vital aspect of Stoicism, a philosophy that champions inner fortitude and resilience. The importance of speaking kindly to oneself. Stoicism teaches us the power of words, especially the ones we direct at ourselves. It's crucial to avoid self-criticism and negative self-talk. Remember the profound words of Marcus Aurelius, a notable Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, don't be overheard complaining, not even to yourself. This wisdom isn't just about outward complaints, but also about the silent ones we often whisper in our own minds. Why is this important? Because when we repeatedly tell ourselves things like, I'm terrible at this, or I'll never get better, we're not just being self-critical. We're eroding our self-esteem and dampening our motivation. This kind of thinking can significantly impede our personal growth and development. Stoicism teaches us to guard our mental well, being by being vigilant about our inner dialogue. So how do we apply the Stoic principle in our daily lives? It starts with transforming our inner narrative. Instead of focusing on our shortcomings, we should remind ourselves of our strengths and potential. Encourage yourself with affirmations like, I am capable, and with time and effort, I will succeed. This shift towards a positive and growth oriented mindset is not just about feeling better, it's about aligning with the core principles of Stoicism, which emphasize resilience and self-improvement. Now, let's consider the story of Zeno of Sidium, the founder of Stoicism. After suffering a shipwreck, Zeno lost everything he had, but instead of succumbing to despair, he used this setback as a catalyst for personal transformation, eventually founding Stoicism. This story exemplifies the Stoic belief in turning adversity into opportunity, a belief deeply rooted in maintaining a positive self. Dialogue In conclusion, the lesson here is clear. Be mindful of how you talk to yourself. Embrace a positive inner dialogue that reinforces your capabilities and potential. This practice not only enhances your self, esteem, but also aligns you with the Stoic path of resilience and continuous self improvement remember the words you whisper to yourself have the power to shape your destiny let them be words of encouragement growth and resilience number four keep your journey of self-improvement private in the realm of personal growth the stoic philosopher epictetus offers a profound piece of wisdom pursue self improvement with humility and discretion this principle teaches us that the path to becoming better individuals is not one to be loudly broadcasted, but rather, it's a quiet, introspective journey. Epictetus, with his deep understanding of human nature, reminds us that our actions should be the true indicators of our progress, not our words. He believed that self-improvement is a personal endeavor, meant for our own evolution, not for garnering applause or recognition from others. Imagine self-improvement as a seed planted in the soil of our being. Boasting about our growth is akin to shouting about the seed before it has even sprouted. This can diminish our genuine commitment to change. Epictetus echoes the timeless saying, Actions speak louder than words. This adage beautifully encapsulates the essence of Stoicism. It's in the subtle yet significant changes in our behavior, character, and mindset that our true growth is revealed.
True growth manifests in the way we interact with others, the wisdom we share and the virtues we live by. The essence of this teaching is that self. Improvement is a silent, steadfast endeavor. It's about working quietly, focusing on our inner development, letting the results naturally emerge and speak for themselves. When others observe the tangible improvements in our lives, they are more likely to be inspired and influenced compared to merely hearing about our intentions. Epictetus's guidance aligns perfectly with Stoic principle, as Marcus Aurelius stated. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This reinforces the idea that our journey towards self improvement is most impactful when it's a humble, modest path, where our actions and results speak volumes. In this way, we become beacons of inspiration, influencing others through the authenticity of our transformation, rather than through empty proclamations. Number 5. Don't be a glutton. Musonius, a Stoic philosopher of great repute, teaches us the vital importance of moderation in all life's facets, particularly in our consumption habits. He astutely points out that overindulgence can lead to negative outcomes, such as physical and mental strain and a quicker path to burnout. Stoicism, a philosophy rich in wisdom, places great emphasis on discipline and self-control, recognizing them as pivotal to success in both our professional and personal lives. This philosophy doesn't merely suggest moderation. It heralds it as a fundamental principle. Picture a pendulum in motion. On one side, there's the extreme of excess where overeating or excessive drinking seems momentarily gratifying but ultimately imposes a heavy toll on our physical and mental well-being. Overeating, for instance, can cause physical discomfort, health complications, and the psychological turmoil of guilt. Excessive drinking similarly can cloud judgment and erode self. Control. On the opposite side, there's the extreme of total abstinence, which can be just as harmful, leading to feelings of deprivation and, ironically, might incite a later overindulgence. Musonius counsels us to seek a middle ground, a path of moderation. Rather than eating to the point of discomfort, we should eat to satisfaction. Instead of drinking to excess, we should enjoy beverages in moderation, enhancing rather than detracting from our experiences. Stoicism, as Musonius exemplifies, extends beyond food and drink. It's a universal principle applicable to every life aspect. By practicing moderation, we cultivate discipline and self-control, crucial for success and a balanced existence. In the words of Stoic philosopher Seneca, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. This quote resonates deeply with the Stoic journey, reminding us that true wealth lies in contentment, not in excess. Therefore, in life's grand symphony, moderation is a key player, orchestrating our actions and leading to a more fulfilling and balanced life. Remember, in the modern world where excess is often celebrated, the Stoic path of moderation is not just a choice but a beacon of wisdom guiding us towards a harmonious and successful life. Number 6. Don't be a big mouth. Next, we delve into a crucial aspect of Stoicism that resonates profoundly in our contemporary, often noisy world. Let's talk about the importance of being a good listener, a concept beautifully encapsulated by Zeno, the father of Stoic philosophy. He once said, we have two ears and one mouth, so we should listen more than we say. This advice, simple in its structure, is immensely powerful in its application. It urges us to reconsider our approach to communication and interaction, emphasizing the art of listening over the urge to speak. In our era, dominated by the constant buzz of social media, meetings, and daily chatter, Zeno's wisdom is more relevant than ever. The world is full of noise with everyone eager to share their thoughts often overlooking the value of listening with intent and focus. Listening is not just about the absence of sound. It's about engaging fully with the speaker, absorbing every word, emotion, and nonverbal signal. This act of listening is a form of respect, showing that you truly value what others have to say. By listening attentively, you open the door to meaningful connections. People feel heard and valued, which strengthens relationships and enhances communication. 
This skill is invaluable, whether in personal relationships or professional collaborations, as it fosters trust and understanding. Moreover, listening offers a wealth of learning opportunities. It allows you to gain new perspectives and insights, fueling your personal growth and helping you make well informed decisions. In a world where speaking one's mind is often prioritized, choosing to listen is a powerful act of attention, respect, and wisdom. So, in your next conversation, embrace the power of listening. You'll find that it not only deepens your connections with others, but also enriches your personal and professional journey. Remember, by listening more and speaking less, you're not just following a stoic principle, you're opening a pathway to profound growth and understanding. In today's segment, we delve into a crucial aspect of Stoicism, one that resonates deeply with our journey, the art of not being overly focused on the future. This principle, deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, is a beacon guiding us towards serenity and resilience in the face of life's unpredictability. As the great Stoic thinker Epictetus profoundly stated, there is only one way to happiness and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. This timeless wisdom encapsulates the essence of Stoicism and offers a path to inner peace. Let's explore this philosophy further. Firstly, it's vital to accept the limits of your control. Life is an intricate tapestry of events, many of which are beyond our influence. Just like a leaf floating on a river, we cannot control the current, but we can navigate our path within it. This acceptance isn't about surrender, but about understanding the boundary between what we can change and what we must let be. Remember, as Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic luminary, advised, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Secondly, don't be too focused on the future. This wisdom, deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, guides us to embrace the present moment with all its potential and challenges. The power we hold is not in the distant future or the unchangeable past, but right here, in the now. Our actions and decisions in the present are the architects of our future. By concentrating on the here and now, we shape a future that reflects our best efforts and intentions. Thirdly, Stoicism teaches us the art of reaction. It's not the external events that shape our lives but our responses to them. This philosophy empowers us with a choice, a choice in how we react to life's unpredictable waves. It's in this choice that we find our strength and peace. As Epictetus, a sage of Stoicism, profoundly stated, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it, that matters. This mindset is a beacon of light in navigating the uncertainties of life. Lastly, Stoicism offers a remedy for the stress and anxiety that often accompany our concerns about the future. By accepting life's inherent unpredictability and choosing to flow with it rather than resist, we alleviate the psychological burdens that weigh us down. This acceptance leads to a life marked by greater peace, patience, and happiness. It's a journey of embracing the present, controlling our reactions, and reducing unnecessary stress all while being guided by the timeless wisdom of Stoic philosophy. In embracing these Stoic principles, we learn to navigate life's ebb and flow with a serene mind and a resilient spirit, just as the Stoics intended. By focusing on what we can control, staying present, choosing our reactions wisely, and letting go of excessive worry about the future, we open ourselves to a life of greater happiness, patience, and inner tranquility guided by the wisdom of Epictetus and his fellow Stoic philosophers. Number 8. Your Financial Situation In the realm of personal matters, especially for men aged 30 to 65, the topic of one's financial situation is a delicate one, best kept under wraps. This principle aligns seamlessly with the Stoic philosophy, where Epictetus once said, Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. This encapsulates the essence of why discussing financial matters, whether you're in a comfortable position or facing challenges, should be avoided even with those closest to you. Firstly, consider that your social circle, despite their good intentions, likely lacks the expertise of an accountant or financial advisor. 
discussing intricate details of your finances or income with them, might not only be unproductive but could also lead to misguided advice or misunderstandings. It's prudent to seek counsel from professionals when needed, while maintaining a discreet stance among friends and family. Secondly, the revelation of your financial status, whether prosperous or strained, can inadvertently trigger a spectrum of negative reactions. In a world where financial status often dictates social perceptions, revealing a comfortable financial situation might attract individuals with hidden agendas looking to benefit from your prosperity. On the flip side, admitting to financial struggles might lead to unwarranted judgment or pity. Such dynamics, unfortunately, reflect the complex nature of human relationships in our modern society. By keeping your financial cards close to your chest, you not only protect yourself from potential exploitation, but also maintain a sense of mystery that can be advantageous in various social interactions. In the journey of life, especially in today's interconnected world, the art of protecting one's privacy becomes paramount. It's essential to establish and respect boundaries, even with those we hold dear. Surprisingly, sharing too much, particularly about finances, can sometimes lead to jealousy or resentment, even among close friends. As Stoics, we strive to control not just our reactions to external events, but also the information we choose to share. By doing so, we maintain a sense of autonomy and dignity, essential for a serene and resilient spirit. Remember, in the words of Seneca, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This includes enjoying your financial journey privately, free from the burdens of external opinions and influences. Chersidon, Disclosing Your Difficulties and Worries Now we delve into a crucial aspect of Stoicism, the art of managing and expressing our emotions, particularly in the context of sharing personal difficulties and worries. Picture this. You're at a job interview or a significant social gathering and you feel the urge to express your concerns or fears. It's a natural inclination, but Stoicism teaches us the importance of discretion in such moments. When we reveal our tensions or fears indiscriminately, we risk not just losing opportunities but also creating a distance between ourselves and others. Misunderstandings can arise, leading people to form a skewed perception of our situation and consequently of us. This misjudgment can ripple out, affecting our careers, social relationships, and daily interactions. But here's the key. Managing and wisely expressing our emotions is not about suppression or dishonesty. It's about understanding the impact of our disclosures and choosing to maintain a certain level of privacy, especially in public forums like social media. This approach isn't about hiding the truth of our lives. It's about being mindful of the consequences of sharing certain details. In the Stoic journey, maintaining a calm and confident demeanor is vital. It's not just about how we feel inside, but also about how we're perceived by society. Outward confidence, even in the face of internal uncertainty, can open doors to opportunities that might otherwise remain closed. So, as we navigate through life's challenges, let's remember to be cautious with our words and actions. They shape how others see us and can influence our path in life. Confidence in this context is a strategic tool. It's about demonstrating control and composure, not just for ourself, perception, but for how we're viewed in the wider world. In conclusion, as Stoics, we learn to balance honesty with discretion. We understand the power of perception and the impact of our emotional expressions on our relationships and opportunities. By mastering this balance, we not only protect our privacy, but also cultivate a persona of resilience and confidence, essential for our journey towards success and fulfillment. Number 10. Embrace silence over complaint for a fulfilling life. In our journey through life, we often encounter moments of frustration and challenge. It's tempting to voice these struggles through complaints, seeking empathy, or a way to release our pent-up feelings. However, this path, while common, is seldom fruitful. Complaining, more often than not, fails to ameliorate our circumstances. Instead, it can cast a shadow of negativity over our own lives and those around us. Marcus Aurelius, a sage of Stoicism, wisely observed, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. 
This profound statement underscores a pivotal Stoic belief. True contentment springs from within, shaped by our perceptions and reactions to the world. It's a reminder that happiness is not a product of external conditions, but a state of mind we cultivate. The futility of complaint. The act of complaining can easily become a habitual yet unproductive cycle. When we voice our grievances, rarely do they pave the way to solutions or positive transformations. Instead, they often breed a sense of helplessness and despondency, reinforcing the notion that we are at the mercy of our circumstances. This mindset not only heightens stress and frustration, but also undermines our agency and resilience. Moreover, habitual complaining can erode the bonds we share with others. It can lead to emotional exhaustion among our friends and family, gradually diminishing their willingness to offer support or companionship. As negativity is contagious, complaints tend to perpetuate and amplify adverse energies. In the spirit of Stoicism, it's beneficial to embrace silence over complaint. By doing so, we not only preserve our inner peace, but also foster a more positive and supportive environment for ourselves and those around us. Remember, as Epictetus once said, we have two ears and one mouth, so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Let us use our capacity for silence as a tool for growth and harmony, embodying the serene and resilient spirit of a true Stoic. The power of optimism is a profound concept that resonates deeply with the Stoic philosophy, particularly in the way it transforms our lives by shifting focus from complaints to positivity. This transformation unfolds in several impactful ways. Firstly, consider the immense benefits to mental health. Embracing optimism and ceasing to complain liberates the mind from negative fixations, paving the way for solution-oriented thinking. This shift is not merely about ignoring problems but about transcending them, leading to reduced stress and heightened mental resilience. It's akin to the Stoic belief in focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we cannot, a principle echoed in the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus. We cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. Secondly, the impact on social relationships is profound. Optimism, much like a beacon, attracts others. By choosing not to complain, you exude a positive energy that strengthens bonds and fosters meaningful connections. This is especially relevant in today's world, where social interactions are often marred by negativity and criticism. By embodying optimism, you become a source of light in others' lives, much like a stoic sage who remains undisturbed by external chaos and thus becomes a pillar of strength for others. Thirdly, the aspect of productivity cannot be overstated. Complaining is frequently a form of procrastination, a barrier to action. By adopting a solution, focused mindset akin to the stoic practice of focusing on action rather than worry, you unlock a higher level of effectiveness and productivity. This approach is not just about doing more, but about doing what is meaningful and purposeful, thereby enhancing both professional and personal life. Lastly, the cultivation of gratitude is a natural outcome of this philosophy. By refraining from complaints, you naturally gravitate towards appreciating the positives, no matter how small. This sense of gratitude aligns closely with the Stoic practice of reflecting on and appreciating what we have, rather than lamenting what we lack. It's a reminder that happiness often lies in simplicity and contentment with the present moment. Now we're diving into the art of reducing complaints, a vital aspect of Stoicism that can profoundly transform our lives. Let's embark on this journey together, exploring three key strategies to master this art. Firstly, let's talk about practicing mindful thinking. It's about being aware of our thoughts and emotions catching ourselves before we complain and redirecting our focus. This is akin to being the gatekeeper of our mind, ensuring that only constructive thoughts pass through. Remember, every thought we entertain shapes our reality. Secondly, we shift our gaze towards seeking solutions. When challenges arise, it's easy to get lost in the problem. However, Stoicism teaches us to pivot our thinking towards finding solutions and taking action. This proactive approach not only solves problems, 
but also empowers us, aligning with the Stoic belief in focusing on what we can control. Thirdly, the practice of expressing gratitude. This is a powerful tool. By acknowledging and appreciating the good in our lives, we shift our perspective to see the world's positive aspects. It's like turning on a light in a dark room, suddenly everything becomes clearer and brighter. Now let's delve into a story. Imagine a sailor navigating through a storm. He doesn't complain about the wind or the waves. Instead, he adjusts his sails, finds new routes, and appreciates the journey. This sailor embodies the essence of our discussion today. Complaining, as we know, is often a fruitless endeavor that can cause more harm than good. By embracing a positive mindset and focusing on solutions, we nurture a happier, more fulfilling life. Marcus Aurelius, a great Stoic philosopher, wisely said, The key to happiness lies within ourselves and our thoughts. This profound statement reminds us of the power we hold within. In practicing Stoic principles we find strength, wisdom, and inner peace. An integral part of Stoicism is the practice of deliberate silence. It's about knowing when to speak and when to remain silent. This cautious approach to communication is not just about restraint. It's about creating space for deep introspection and self-improvement. Remember, not everything we think or feel needs to be expressed. Some of the best treasures, like our deepest thoughts and emotions, are often kept close to the chest. By doing so, we create conditions for profound personal growth. Practice mindful thinking, seek solutions, and express gratitude. Embrace the power of deliberate silence and introspection. By doing so, we can improve our lives and find true happiness and fulfillment. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Let's take that step today together. Number 11. Your Relationships In the realm of relationships, it's essential to tread carefully when it comes to what we share and with whom. The Stoics teach us the value of discretion, particularly in matters of the heart and conflict. It's a common misstep to broadcast our relationship struggles, whether on social media or in casual conversations with acquaintances. However, true wisdom lies in resolving these conflicts internally, within the sanctity of the relationship itself. Remember, every relationship will face its share of disagreements and misunderstandings. It's a natural part of human interaction. Yet the manner in which we handle these moments can define the strength and health of our bonds. Instead of impulsively sharing the intricate details of our conflicts with friends or family, we should aim to address them directly with those involved. This approach not only preserves the privacy and dignity of the relationship, but also fosters a deeper understanding and trust between the parties. A relationship thrives on mutual respect and the ability to navigate challenges together. By keeping our conflicts private and working through them as a united front, we build a foundation of trust and security. This doesn't mean isolating ourselves or refusing outside help when necessary, but rather recognizing that the first and most crucial step is to communicate openly and honestly with our partner. In this journey of building and maintaining healthy relationships, we must embrace the stoic principle of introspection. It teaches us to look inward, to understand our emotions and reactions, and to seek harmony within ourselves before seeking it with others. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This wisdom encourages us to focus on the present moment in our relationships, dealing with conflicts as they arise and cherishing the connection we have now. In conclusion, respecting the privacy of our relationships and handling conflicts internally are not just signs of emotional maturity. They are the cornerstones of lasting, meaningful connections. By practicing restraint and introspection, we align ourselves with Stoic teachings, leading to a life of greater understanding, fulfillment, and profound connection with those we hold dear. Number 12. Avoid broadcasting your charitable acts. In the Stoic journey, we often encounter the virtue of humility, particularly in the context of kindness or charity. Stoicism, a philosophy rich in wisdom, teaches us that the essence of charitable acts lies not in the accolades they might attract, but in their intention and impact. Reflecting on this, 
a quote from the Stoic philosopher Seneca, resonates deeply. True generosity is giving without expectation of reward or thanks. This principle is especially pertinent in our modern world, where social media often becomes a stage for showcasing good deeds. Why keeping charitable acts? Private matters. Firstly, maintaining the privacy of your charitable acts ensures the purity of your intentions. It's about the act of giving itself, not the applause that might follow. This approach keeps the focus on the act of helping others, steering clear of the desire for social recognition or admiration. It's a practice that aligns seamlessly with the stoic principle of doing good for its own sake, not for external validation. Secondly, by not publicizing your acts of charity, you nurture a genuine sense of compassion and empathy. This approach shifts the emphasis from seeking external validation to finding internal satisfaction in aiding others. It's about cultivating an authentic spirit of giving, one that resonates with the stoic ideal of virtue being its own reward. Thirdly, keeping your charitable deeds private helps avoid unintended consequences. Publicizing such acts can sometimes lead to negative outcomes, like making the recipients feel embarrassed or indebted. By keeping these acts private, you respect the dignity of those you're helping, aligning with the Stoic value of treating others with respect and kindness. In embracing Stoicism, we learn that the most profound rewards are those felt internally, not those recognized or celebrated by others. By keeping your charitable acts private, you adhere more closely to the Stoic virtues of humility and selflessness, fostering a deeper connection with the essence of Stoicism. This practice is not only a testament to your character, but also a guiding light in the modern hustle, reminding us that the true measure of our actions lies in their intent and impact, not in the recognition they receive. Number 13. Refrain from sharing personal grievances. In today's segment we delve into a profound Stoic principle, the art of keeping personal grievances to oneself. This echoes the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, a luminary in Stoic philosophy, who taught the virtue of enduring life's tribulations with dignity, without casting the weight of our struggles onto others. Imagine you're navigating a turbulent sea. Each grievance is like a wave, challenging, but conquerable. By choosing not to vocalize every hardship, you're not suppressing your emotions, but rather, you're building an inner fortress of strength and resilience. This practice aligns seamlessly with the Stoic ideal of self, reliance. It's about finding your inner compass and steering through life storms with a calm and composed spirit. Moreover, consider the atmosphere you create around you. Habitually sharing grievances can inadvertently spread a cloud of negativity, impacting not just your own well-being but also those in your circle. By keeping these matters close to your chest, you foster a more positive and uplifting environment, both for yourself and for others. Now, let's turn our gaze inward, towards the Stoic approach to problem-solving. Stoicism isn't about ignoring challenges, it's about facing them head, on with a solution oriented mindset. When you refrain from externalizing every grievance, you're more inclined to look for constructive ways to navigate and overcome these challenges. It's about transforming obstacles into opportunities for growth and learning. In the words of Seneca, another esteemed Stoic philosopher, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This profound insight reminds us that the way we perceive and internalize our experiences has a profound impact on our reality. By adopting a Stoic approach to personal grievances, you're not just practicing ancient philosophy, you're equipping yourself with timeless tools for modern resilience. This journey of Stoic self, discovery is not about silencing your struggles, but about mastering them with grace and wisdom, turning each challenge into a stepping stone towards a more serene and empowered life. Number 14. Conceal your vulnerabilities. In the Stoic journey, we often encounter the principle of maintaining a serene exterior, especially in the face of life's challenges. This concept is deeply rooted in the Stoic practice of managing emotions and presenting a composed front even amidst adversity. 
The idea of concealing your vulnerabilities aligns with this philosophy, advocating for discretion and thoughtfulness in what we choose to reveal about ourselves. This approach is not about denial or suppression, but rather about choosing resilience and wisdom in our interactions. Why it's important to keep vulnerabilities private. 1. Maintains personal strength. Stoicism places a high value on the perception of strength and resilience. By keeping your vulnerabilities private, you uphold an image of fortitude, which is pivotal in various spheres of life, including both personal and professional realms. This practice is not about feigning invulnerability, but about recognizing the power in selective sharing. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This emphasizes the importance of being measured and deliberate in our disclosures. 2. Prevents Exploitation In our journey through life, we may encounter individuals who could potentially exploit our vulnerabilities. By keeping these aspects of ourselves private, we safeguard against possible manipulation or harm. This is not an expression of mistrust towards others, but a prudent acknowledgement of the complexities of human interactions. It's about creating a protective barrier, allowing us to navigate through life with a sense of security and self preservation. 3. Encourages self reflection and growth. Addressing your vulnerabilities in a private setting fosters deeper self reflection and personal growth. This aligns with the Stoic practice of introspection and self-improvement. By dealing with our vulnerabilities internally, we embark on a path of self-discovery and development, which is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. It's about turning inward to find strength, rather than seeking external validation or recognition. In summary, concealing your vulnerabilities is not about hiding or denying your true self. It's a strategic approach to life that echoes the Stoic values of humility, resilience, self, reliance, and introspection. It's a call to prioritize personal growth and inner strength, to navigate the modern world with wisdom and serenity. As we integrate these principles into our daily lives, we become more equipped to handle the ebbs and flows of existence with a calm and resilient spirit. As we conclude today's journey on 14 things you should always keep private, I invite you to reflect deeply on how these stoic principles can enrich your life. Ask yourself, which of these tenets resonated most with you? How can you integrate these insights into your daily routine to foster personal growth and happiness? Your journey towards stoicism is not just about learning. It's about transforming these teachings into actions. I encourage you to take a moment and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's create a dialogue that strengthens our Stoic community. Share your experiences, challenges, and successes. And if you're feeling inspired, type I am Stoic in the comments to affirm your commitment to this transformative path. Remember, the essence of Stoicism lies in the practice, in the quiet yet powerful pursuit of inner peace and resilience. Each step you take in applying these principles brings you closer to true tranquility and self-mastery. If you found value in our discussion today and are eager for more insights into Stoicism and its practical application in our modern world, please like, subscribe, and share our channel, Stoic in Your Life. Your support is not just appreciated, it's a vital part of growing our community of like-minded individuals seeking wisdom and tranquility. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Your engagement and enthusiasm fuel our mission to spread the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. I look forward to seeing you in our next video, where we'll continue to explore and apply the profound teachings of Stoic philosophy. Until then, stay Stoic, stay strong, and let's cultivate a life of meaning and serenity together.